I have an inside secret that could forever change how you shop on Amazon. Hello, I am the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite from mattsdailydeals.com and I am an Amazon insider. For those of you that might not have noticed, I actually work as a show host for Amazon and I broadcast live to millions of people from New York City almost every week and I'm not an employee of Amazon. I'm an independent contractor and I'm not speaking on behalf of the company. I just want to let you guys know sometimes when I feature something more than once, you tell me I'm biased and all this. I am not. I am a person and I am a consumer analyst and I work towards saving you money. That's the most important thing for me and that's why I want to do this piece today. Now, I'm sure you know that reviews on any website can be fake, but there's a whole world of fake reviews on some of your most popular websites and I think Walmart is actually way worse on some of these than, than what I'm gonna get into for Amazon, but Amazon is so popular. I wanna talk about a tool I use to determine when reviews are fake, possibly altered and not, and then also show you a little bit about this back world of people actually buying a product for real where they're purchasing it, but the reviews, not real. Now, Amazon is obviously doing a lot to block people where there are brands compensating other people for their purchases. That's kind of gone to the past. But there was this article on BuzzFeed not too long ago, and it ties into someone whose identity has been blocked where she purchases products from Amazon, is making thousands of dollars a month. In fact, Jessica has spent well over $15,000 on Amazon this year purchasing everything from Halloween decorations to queen size inflatable mattresses. She's purchased over 700 products, but she's posting photos, she's posting video, she's actually buying the products on her own credit card, and then she's recompensated by the brand for her positive reviews. Her reviews are done really to support products where in many cases she's not testing them, she's not trying them, and I know this might not be a surprise to you, but a way to find out whether or not a review is real and to analyze Amazon in just a few seconds is something I can share with you right now. Now on mattsdailydeals.com, I review my own products, and yes, I use affiliate links, so I am compensated when you use a link by a few cents or a couple dollars. That's how I make money, that's how I buy food but I'm not receiving money directly from brands in exchange for my reviews. And that means I favor a lot of brands often because you see repetition. I like a brand you see it time and time again. But with that being said, I wanna show you some brands you may not know of where this is happening. Anchor, as an example, is a brand I love. I featured a lot of their products in the past. And if you look at the review, they have a designation of Amazon's choice, which means the reviews are good, the quality of the reviews according to Amazon is high, and it's very well rated. In fact, you'd probably say, why wouldn't I just buy this power bank over a decibel or something else that I featured in the past? And I want you to see what happens when I go to fakespot.com and I paste this review into here. It receives an analysis grade of D. That means the fake spot engine has detected that Amazon has altered, modified, or removed reviews tied to this listing. The company as a whole has many reviews where it's not quite possible that these are authentic or that they are coming from real people even though some of the reviews are verified. So fakespot.com does a good job. Yes, it's robotic. Yes, they're using an algorithm, but there's a lot of data to try and make you a better shopper. And you can't just look at positive reviews and say, okay, there's too many positive reviews, this isn't real, or there's so many negative reviews, this is fake. I wanna show you this as an example right here. So take a look at this. I'm gonna post in this virtually unknown brand and it had a prior review of A. The company as a whole doesn't have enough data to really give a huge analysis tied to this product line, but Alpatronics is, in this case, posting some real reviews, which is good to know. And then of course, you're gonna have brands that you see time and time again on the channel because I happen to like the stuff, they're major brands and I've featured them in the past. Now this pillow for $14, awesome. The listing that went live for Black Friday tied to this product was a new listing. So the merchant created a page, which means it doesn't have a history of thousands of reviews. And the reviews that it accumulated were real, but you might look at the page, let's look at this for a second, and say to yourself, oh, well, this looks kind of fishy. I only see 17 reviews. This is a newer listing. So you see fewer reviews on the page, but let's just analyze this as an example. And you're going to see that this has an A rating. In fact, the company, has an A rating. So there are reasons why I feature certain products from certain websites and just because a website doesn't have a lot of reviews or just because it has thousands of reviews 
doesn't mean that those reviews are as credible as you'd like to believe. Also, one of the things that goes on on Walmart and Target and any other website is competitors of products will post negative reviews just to lower the rating. So five people come on, they say, oh, I hate this, this is the worst thing ever, I found a better pillow, or I didn't like the way the pillow smelled when I opened it. That lowers the review of a product very quickly. So yes, reviews are important. Fakespot.com is a great tool. You need to use your own mind, which you all do as conscientious, intelligent shoppers. And if you depend on people like me to do some of those reviews and test products for you, we're all there, we're all in this together. But just keep in mind when you are spending thousands of dollars on a purchase, like a new iPhone, or if you are really excited about something like the AirPods Pro, which actually have less of a battery life in them than the pre-existing AirPods. You might not know that, right? You think you're spending more money, you're getting a better battery life. You're not. There's so many different factors that go into play behind the sexiness of a product. And there's a whole community of fake reviews and paid reviews and reviews that look verified that actually aren't that exist out there. And I'm only sharing this information with you so you maybe feel that you have another tool at your disposal as a consumer. So thank you. Thank you for making me feel like less of a tool by watching this video. And if you are not yet subscribed and you wanna see more content like this, in addition to the deals, please let me know. You guys make me better at my job and I'd love to have you stick around. If you're not yet subscribed, just click on my oversized head right here. That will hook you up. And if you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment, click here. And the last big round of a deals I did over here. Thank you for watching.